also um, on our mission to make some uh, lost place videos for you we saw a lot of pollution as well you can see in the left side or in the right side even as well inside maybe um, you have a lot of a lot of plastic waste a lot of pollution here you can show it uh, it's uh, amazing it's huge and uh, everywhere where tourism is or where people are uh, we find some kind of pollution or some pollution like that it's incredible it's amazing uh, stupidness from people uh, to leave their things and leave their stuff here so it's a very historical um, building here this old prison and uh, it's like that sad uh, that is so much pollution here across and around us let's go inside and have a look this notorious prison was built in the 1980s and is used as a special military control prison where civilians were tortured and locked away for political reasons at the dictator's pleasure a military camp and prison built proposedly by Albert René. Watchtowers and the security walls. High walls and watchtowers surrounded the prison to prevent escape attempts and ensure the security of the facility. If you want more information, visit the State House Seychelles or the official reports of Amnesty International. Now, main inside. entrance. The main entrance was often secured by massive gates. Heavy doors. There we go. Everything is claimed back from the nature as well. So we see that a lot of times the, where the nature comes back to the to the old buildings and to the human things here with some interviews. common areas. 
These included dining areas, recreational rooms and workspaces where inmates would usually work or engage in the social activities under supervision. Outdoor areas. Outdoor areas usually consisted of courtyards or open spaces where inmates could get fresh air and exercise under supervision. In some cases there were also agricultural areas or workshops where inmates could work. And now we go to the prison itself, to the cells. Cell blocks. Cell blocks were typically arranged in a series of wings or separate buildings that were accessible from a central corridor or courtyard. Each cell block contained multiple cells, which could be either single or communal cells, depending on the security level and number of inmates. Isolation cells. In some prisons, there were special isolation cells or solitary confinement cells where inmates considered particularly dangerous or uncontrollable were housed. The administrative area. Usually located near the main entrance, the administrative area was where the prison management staff and guards had their offices and workspaces. The nature finds its way also into some buildings.
Today, the old prison at Petit Bodice Bay stands as a historical monument. Visitors can tour well-preserved cells, watchtowers and surrounding buildings to gain insight into the lives of the inmates during this time.